DeLuca here. All right, today we're going to be doing some product testing. The lovely people at PBO Paints have sent me their new pouring medium. And kindly, my favorite colors for testing. Um, this is actually a metallic, uh, it's an iridescent blue green. Typically, I use a, a just a regular blue. Uh, we have here um, light yellow. There's lots of languages on here. <laughs> light Azo yellow. And the uh, primary magenta. Also, they sent a nice big bottle of titanium white. Love that because we always use more white than the other colors, typically. I've mixed these one part paint to two parts pouring medium. And the consistency that we're working with, let's see, this one show up better. Um, it, it forms a mound briefly and then disappears. Not too thin, not too thick, right around a three on my consistency scale. Okay, so today I'm gonna to start with a traveling ring pour. I always like to test to see, will they make cells on their own? Some paints or some pouring mediums will create cells when you don't want them, which is always why it's good to have different pouring mediums on hand. Uh, Floetrol will give you cells if you don't want them. So if you don't want cells, then you want to grab a different pouring medium. So we're going to see how PVO plays out regarding that. But first, let me introduce you to my Go Make Some Art Fluid Art Inspiration Cards. If you've already seen this part, you can fast forward to the painting. But if you're interested, what they are, it is 52 cards. Each card, uh, well, 42 of the cards have a technique. There is a video associated with the technique so you can see exactly how it's done. There's a box that has a little tip, a, a color palette, and then these two boxes are also meant to be able to be used as a color palette if you want a two color pour or as the basis of a pour. And then there are also eight color palette cards, each one having five color palettes. You can use all the colors, you can use some of the colors, you can mix and match, you can pick a technique and then say, oh, I already did that technique with those colors and then pick another card with a different color palette. And some people are using the color palettes for things other than pouring, like bead making and crochet. Here we go. These are available at my website, ginadeluca.net. Alrighty, let's get to business. All right, I'm gonna start with a bit of white here. Okay, and generally what I do, I do two colors and then white, and then two colors and white, so that all of the colors will at some point be able to touch each other, and you can see how they blend to see if they maintain their separation. Okay, let's do this. So blue, then yellow, and some white. And then we'll do magenta and blue and white. And then 
some yellow. Magenta and white. All right, let's see what happens. Okay, that blue-green is very pretty. Okay, I'm gonna clean up and I'm gonna bring you in for a close up. Back in a few. Okay, here it is. Let's get in there close up. That blue green is so pretty. Look at that shimmer. That is a lovely color. For those little cells are from bubbles in my paint naughty naughty didn't let it sit long enough but you can tell that those are air bubble cells and not uh, paint reaction cells let's take a look at the sides the sides are holding up well There's no stuff in the way here. But the sides have very nice coverage. Something you always want to be looking for. That's one of the beauties of this art is that the sides look groovy too. Yeah. Well, so far I'm digging it. I do like the color separation. Nice sharp lines. Didn't turn into just a bunch of mud. So I have more tests coming up. I will be doing a flip cup without silicone, one with silicone, and probably a straight pour as well. Just to cover all the bases, you know. There it is. If you find these videos helpful, please like and share and subscribe so others can get in on the fun and if you would like to support this channel you can do so by checking out my paypal tip jar and i also now have a venmo tip jar i think venmo doesn't take a cut i do like the venmo for that reason um, also another way 
to support this channel is by visiting my Amazon store. If you click on that link, anything that you purchase off the entire site of Amazon, whether it's in my store or not, even if it's a washing machine or a shiatsu chair, I will get a small commission of at no additional cost to you. Usually it's a couple of pennies, but if you have enough people doing it, it's enough to pay a bill. It's always greatly appreciated. Do check out my website, GinaDeLuca.net, to purchase artwork, my music. Yes, I'm a musician as well. And to purchase the Fluid Art Inspiration Cards. And last but not least, join our Facebook group. Go make some art, post your masterpieces, ask your questions, get some inspiration. Uh, I think that's it. I'm so out of practice, I've forgotten my spiel. All right, y'all, if you made it this far, thank you. And stay tuned for the uh, follow-up tests and the dried pieces in the days to come. Okay, that's it for me. I hope you have a beautiful day. Now go make some art.